Welcome back, humor consumers, to the Life Happens Laugh Anyway podcast. I'm comedian Tracy DeGraff. And I'm Catherine, co-host and bestie. Hello, co-host and bestie. Hello, Trace. It's a beautiful day. It's gorgeous out. Are you ready? I'm ready. For podcast Uh, number one, two, seven. Yes. No. Well, no, one, two, six. Let's correct. Yeah, one, two, six. We're flipping it, friends. So we had previously recorded one two six yeah right Mm -hmm. how come i'm saying it like that i don't know but you threw me off (laughs) when you said it i was like what what are we counting (laughs) tracy's always changing things up on me without telling me what is she doing sorry i don't know why i'm sorry i think it's the sugar it probably is let me start over this is episode number 126 oh that's the way to say it yay good job Good job. And, and our topic today, friends, you'll understand in a minute why I'm so cuckoo. <laughs> our topic is National Donut Day. Yes. Isn't that exciting? It Have, is exciting. When yeah. we were going over our list, like brainstorming what to do, I was like, hey, did you know there's a, na- a donut day, National Donut Day? You're like, yeah, but what are we going to do, you know, with that, with the podcast? And I was like, oh, yeah. We'll find something. We'll find something. Yeah. And we did. Oh, did we ever. So stay tuned because we're going to get to that. Mm-hmm. Before we do, though, let's talk about our sponsors. We have them. T- tell yes, our friends about our sponsors, Thank Catherine. God. Please tell them. Well, our sponsors help us um, by contributing $5 a month or in some a couple cases, a, a one lump sum. And that helps us to promote our podcast. It helps us to... Uh, stay current on uh, materials and things like that. And yeah, and it pays for some of the things that we have to pay for to to put this podcast on a platform. It also pays for yes. you know emailing out the podcast to everybody, all things like that. Mm-hmm. So it is uh, wonderful that we're able to offer it for free to all of you. Yes. But we would like your $5 a month, please. <laughs> Please deposit. And I just want to mention by name the sponsors that we have so far. So we have Katie, Colleen, Ursula, Nancy, Kenny, Karen, Janine, Muffin, Darlene, Courtney, Joan, Carla, and Gail. Yes. Are we missing anybody? Well, Linda. She said she has a check for us. (laughs) (laughs) She told me. She told me she has a check for us. She told you to now? I mean, she, she told she, you as well, I mean. Yes, she yeah. did. She did. So um, oh. th- we're TIA, thankful in advance. Yes, that's right. For our right. friend Linda. Come on now, Linda. And, <laughs> and most of our sponsors are, the way that you sign up to become a sponsor, all you have to do is go to Patreon. And we have a page there, the Life Happens Laugh Anyway podcast page. And you just enroll to sponsor us with $5 a month. Once you take that five minutes to do that, you'll never miss that $5, friends. It will. You will not miss no. it. But we will greatly welcome it yes, into we our will. account. <laughs> and we're saving up for new equipment. Yeah. We're going to get some new microphones that we think are going to make the sound quality better. Mm-hmm. And uh, go from there. So once we have enough, you know, we're going to sound better. So that's Well, I was good. just reminded when you said it helps, you know, pay for the platform that we use. I forgot all about that. Yeah, we have to pay for Podbean. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's an annual subscription. And we also have to pay for MailChimp, you know, for that yeah, to go out every right. week. And then we have equipment and mm-hmm. different things like that. So there are costs. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's out of the way. So let's talk about donuts. National let's, Donut Day. Yes, that's right. I love it. We have a couple takeaways. Uh, Catherine's going to go over some fun facts in history. That's going to be great. She's all animated about that. Uh, she's I also- was till I came down from the sugar high. <laughs> yeah, because I'm quite sleepy now. <laughs> I'll tell you in a second. She's also going to talk about free donuts where you might be able to score a free donut on National Donut Day. And then finally, we're going to go over this recipe that I found. Mm. And we actually made it. We did. And that's what she's Which, talking about. Because yes. we've each had now three donuts. Have we had three? We did. Mm. <laughs> We each had three donuts and, and coffee. Well, they're donut holes. They're big holes, Tracy. They're like <laughs> they are, holy donuts. They are That's big. what I called them. Like if we open a donut business, yeah, it's going to be called Holy Donuts. Yeah, don't steal our idea. It's Catherine's yeah. idea. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna we're gonna share with you that recipe. And for those of you that are on our patron support mm-hmm. team, you're our humor contributors. We created a video that we're going to hopefully edit together and send out to you. We're doing the best that we can with video. We tried to send you a video of the baby birds. That one went out and it was a little wonky. So sorry about that. 
and on this one today, I just came from workout, and Catherine uh, had was is all dressed up, so we look a little off. Like you know, I look homeless somewhat. But yeah, it's okay. Well, it's, it is okay. I'm dressed up because I had been I had foot surgery last Friday, and I just had been like in my pajamas and then lounge pants and oh, feeling yeah. pretty cruddy. Yeah. And then when I, I was finally able to take a shower, and then a second one, I'm like, I am just I'm dressing up. Yes. So here oh, I am. Would you let me send out the video of you? <laughs> of you. You're asking permission. <laughs> yeah. Right, because I would never do this without no, permission. you normally don't ever ask me, what is it? <laughs> the one. You're scaring me. <laughs> I kidnapped Catherine the other day, and oh. I took her to Target. And we got in one of, or she she got in one of those uh, carts, yes. you know. Mm-hmm. And I took some video, <laughs> and I put it into this little reel. But I didn't send it out on social media because, you know, it's kind of. I look terrible. No. Yes. <laughs> I look terrible. No. I do too. No, but you, I didn't want to send it out on social media just in case if you didn't want it out there um, for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah. So you ask me now while we're recording. Right. Not live, but it feels live. It, in a way, it's live because we're too lazy to edit out all this. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you mentioned that what? our Patreon last video of, of the birds was right. wonky. I was thinking everything we do is wonky. wonky. (laughs) I know. We're going to get better. Yeah. How are they going to know that we've improved if they don't see how bad we suck at first? Right? That's a really good way to look at it. Tracy, you are such a politician. (laughs) You really could be one. I swear. (laughs) That is, that's a good answer. It's a great way to look at it. It is. Anyway, friends, I'm going to do my best to twist Catherine's arm and allow me to show you just for the patrons, because I don't want it to go out everywhere. Oh. Um, Catherine in her vulnerable state at Target <laughs> with her foot in a cast. Yeah. All right. Let's move along. Okay. National Donut Day. What say you, Catherine? Fun facts in history about National Donut Day. Yes. Now, before I found this, did you know that there was a National Donut Day? No. Okay. Well, now we know and we're going to let everybody know that it falls on the first Friday of every june nice so this year is going to be june 2nd okay now i'll just get this out of the way there is another national donut day in november like and it's always november 5th and nobody really knows how that came to be other than ladies journal some i don't know years ago printed it and then it kind of became a thing but there's no history on it Okay. All right. So we got that out of the way in case someone's like, oh, I know. Well, I'm not opposed to two National <laughs> Donut Days. I don't see the problem myself. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, th- it started in um, during World War One when these so-called donut lassies, they were these uh, women that were women volunteers that would go out on the front lines to keep the brave soldiers um, like a sense of at home and they were from the Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. And so they went with the mission of providing, you know, comforting meals for the troops. And they soon found out that the donuts were an effective way to provide food uh, while navigating the difficulties of cooking in, you know, such dire circumstances. And interestingly... They learned how to fry up the donuts in the helmets of the, ah. yes, of the soldiers, you know, helmets. And they could do seven of them at a time. So isn't I, that amazing? Because yeah. the helmet was metal, obviously. Mm-hmm. And they would just put the dough in there with the oil and. Yeah, fried them up. Nice. So I'm sure that that was very appreciated by the soldiers. Yeah. Do you know if you Google donut lassies, you mm-hmm. see all kinds of pictures of these beautiful women mm-hmm. holding lots of donuts and some of them are on sticks and, and stuff. Aren't they in dresses? Yeah, they're in so dresses. There they were in the war with dresses. Now, here's another interesting thing. But the actual National Donut Day was established. Also, it was still um about the salvation army it was to honor the members of the salvation army that came to the aid of the soldiers Mm -hmm. during the first world war and but it was established in 1938 in chicago wow so we live right outside of chicago uh in the suburbs so that's why it's 
seems kind of neat that it's a national thing, but it started here. And um, again, like I said, it's it's celebrated the first Friday of June. So nice. and now today, many donut shops, nothing to do with the Salvation Army, but many of the donut shops participate in this thing and they give out free donuts, certain probably just like one and then certain varieties um, are limited to certain varieties. So that's that's the history on the donut. Isn't that just amazing? It, it blows my mind how resourceful human beings can be. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. What do we have? We have a metal helmet. Let's make it into a pot. Okay. Yeah. It, now we're going to fry our donuts oh, in it. Yeah. You just never know what you come up with when you're, like you said, under dire circumstances. Or maybe I said it. Now I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Although Where's the sugar? I'm a little bit surprised that it was considered a pick me up. I can see where it would nurture their soul. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but I, they had to have they had to have come crashing down. Yeah, yeah, I'll bet you they weren't loaded up with sugar as much as ours are. Mm, yeah, probably. I don't know. Catherine was right before we started the podcast, as we always do. We prayed, mm-hmm. and we had our eyes closed, and it was her <laughs> turn to pray. And pretty soon, I hear. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She didn't actually no, fall asleep. But I did say, oh, I shouldn't have closed my eyes during prayer because now they want to stay shut. <laughs> and don't worry, we've got caffeine, so load up. It's just such a delicate balance. Oh, gosh. Right, what else I you got to share? I want to my fingers and have somebody bring me one. <laughs> Okay, so I found some interesting stats or facts, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And one of them, here's a question. What would you think of someone who brings donuts to the office? Now, this is this is a survey that was taken out of 1000 Americans, it says. And uh, over 50 percent say, what do you think? I would, this is my new best friend. I would (laughs) love that person. Yes, they would think very highly of them. Um, and then just over 45% said my opinion wouldn't change. And less than 5%, it's just like, it looks like it's about 2%. It doesn't actually, it doesn't have the number, you know, kind of mm-hmm. like your speedometer, those in between things. <laughs> but it says, I would think less of them. So that. Wait. Mm-hmm. Who would think less of well, someone? Probably the skinny people. Ugh. They would probably be like, you're just trying to make me. Bigger. Okay, that's just wrong. Those well, you don't have to eat it. You can just appreciate the sentiment. Well, and yeah. not think less of somebody because they try to do something nice. Those people are crazy. How many was it? It takes what all kinds. It is approximately. It looks like about two. Oh yeah, yeah. Two. no. Those are the mm-hmm. margins of society right there. <laughs> <laughs> they don't deserve a donut. Are you kidding me? No, no kidding. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, move All on. All right, here's the next uh, survey question. Mm-hmm. Have you ever brought donuts to the office? Well, do you want to know the percentage that have? Well, have you? I have, actually. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's been so long since I've worked in an office. I'm yeah. trying to remember, but I'm sure I did. Yeah. I cooked food for five boys for 30 years. Yeah, but that doesn't Not the count. same. Okay. Okay. What's the percentage? 56% oh, there of you go. those interviewed said they had. 44% said no, they hadn't. Okay. Now, which describes, which best describes your attitude toward <laughs> towards donuts? Okay. I love this. 51%, I love them, they say. <laughs> and then 40%, I like them. And then um, 3%, I dislike them. Again, crazy. Okay. And a whopping 1%, I hate them. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, boo for you. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They're probably the same 2% of people that aren't bringing them. They probably are. All right. Here's one that's a little more fun. America's top 10 favorite donut flavors. What do you think is the, the top? Um... Top 10 favorite flavors? Chocolate. It's actually not. That one came in third. Chocolate frosted was third. That was at 16%. Mm -hmm. Uh, But the number one was glazed donuts. And number two, Boston cream. Now, I have a question. Is Boston cream the same as like Bavarian? Um, 
It's, it's a cream donut, so it's got cream inside. I don't right. know if the flavor's different. Okay, I don't want to alarm you. Oh, look, no. Look up. What? <laughs> oh, you see that? Yes. There's a spider. Stop. There's a spider. Oh. I'll get it. You keep talking. Okay, I'm going to go over this little survey. You, okay. Yeah, you do that. Go ahead. Okay, now the next one on the list is just over, I don't know, it's around 10%, the jelly filled. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, only it's less than 8% chocolate cake. Now, come on. I'm scared. How can that be that low? <laughs> then we have maple after that. And that's, I don't know, ah, <laughs> just, just about 5%. <laughs> Wait. I don't know if I can do it. Wait. Yes, you can. Just hold on. Oh. Hold on I'll be right back. All right. I'm going to go. Should I pause this? Okay, so we have the blueberry. That's um, a little, eh, about 5%, I think. A little less than that. The bear claws next. Powdered sugar and pink frosted comes in at the very last. So those are your top 10. Um, <laughs> she's got a fly swatter. Okay, she's getting this, this spider. Work? What? Gonna yes, work? it's going to work, but get it good. Oh, get it good. <laughs> get the Roomba. Yeah, I'll get it. Oh, I'm hot now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so scary. <clears throat> All right, well, good job, Tracy. I do believe that you at least I killed it. Crippled it. I don't know if it's dead, but I, okay. I, it had to be crippled. I'm out good of breath. Job. Okay. <laughs> and I'm hot. <laughs> Lord help us. Whew. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get back to it. Okay. America's top 10 favorite donut chains. Number one. Duncan. No. What? Krispy Kreme. Oh, forgot They're about They're almost neck and neck, though. Then Donuts, or I mean, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, Shipley Donuts. Never heard. Tim Hortons, mm. Voodoo Donuts. Ew. That, <laughs> they're at 3%. <laughs> Daylight Donuts. Okay, now I know you've heard of this one. Entenmann's Donuts yes. in my own kitchen. Yeah, I've heard of Entenmann's, and I've tried Entenmann's, but they're not as good as what we just made. No, I agree. Uh, Winchell's Donuts, Lamar's Donuts. I found that on a few websites. Hmm. And Honeydew Donuts. But I think uh, there's a chain around here. I'm going to talk about it real quick. And there's one in Orland Park, and it's called Stans. And like they have like bright pink oh, I've lettering. I've never tried it. I haven't either, but Tristan, so my Ellis's fiance's uh, friend, uncle, owns it. Nice. And... Um, I asked him for this podcast. I said, do you know if they're giving out free donuts on National Donut Day? He doesn't know if they are. But uh, anyway, this I think that it's a small chain. I'm not sure. And I looked on their website to see if they're giving out free donuts. And it didn't say, say anything. No. But shout out to Stan's in Orland Park. Um, oh, I because love have, their branding. That's exactly, you just took the words out of my mouth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. There's a lot of pink, right? It's just very fresh and new. There is pink, but it's also muted with you know, like neutral tones. Mm -hmm. And it's got this cute little chef with his little leg kicked up. Yeah. Very nice. Yes, yes. Yeah. And they're uh, open from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Yeah. And you can late. do a fundraiser with them if you want. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go over some by the numbers. These are kind of fun. Uh, I'm going to start out with the number and then tell you what it's for. Okay. 10 billion. Um, what do you think that's for? Okay, in relationship to donuts, 10 billion. It's how many donuts Americans consume in one year. It's actually the number of donuts made in the U.S. each each year. Well, then you so, well know they're consumed. Yeah. They <laughs> <laughs> if somebody makes it, somebody eats it. Okay, here's one for you. There are 10 people living in America with Donut as their surname. And even more oddly is 13. There are 13 uh, people who have Donut as their first name. Oh, yeah, that is odd. <laughs> That's even, yeah. Uh, the city of Boston has one Donut shop for every 2,480 people. Wow. I know. Can you imagine what the people of Boston might, you know, 
Well, they There's got a lot of cops out there in Boston, so you got to have a lot of donut shops. Yeah, they probably have a lot of hospitals and people with diabetes, mm. too. <laughs> uh, 20, the number of donuts Renee Zellweger, Zellweger ate every day to gain weight for the sequel of uh, Bridget Jones' Diary. Oh, my goodness. She'd eat 20 a day. 20 donuts a day? Yeah, but I don't know for how many days, but that's how many she ate. <sighs> The Guinness World Record for the most powdered donuts donuts eaten in three minutes was nine. Okay, now here's the number of donuts consumed by Americans in 2020. Mm-hmm. Uh, 201.02 million. That's, whatever that means. Well, that's a lot. 0. 0.02. Yes. Oh, okay, wait, the number... Wait, what was your first stat that you came out with? That was how many donuts are made, and that's 10 billion. So and, they probably ship them... Outside of the okay. U.S. Because then the last stat you just shared, that how many in 2020 was what? It's how millions. many don't... <laughs> you're coming down from your sugar high, too. <laughs> it's the number of donuts <laughs> consumed by Americans okay. in 2020. Where are you getting these stats from? Who's telling you all this? Tracy. Well, just don't question going. it. Right, I mean, right, you right, Google right. everything. I know. I so, know, come I on. Know. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. The number of donuts churned out by Entenmann's every hour is 100,000. Wow. Every hour. That's hey, nuts. Let them and I cake. bet you, I wonder if they count how many are stolen by the employees. Hmm. Like, remember on um, I Love Lucy when her <laughs> the candy. and Apple eat the candy off the belt? <laughs> yeah. You the, know, a side note, this yes. Stan's Donuts, there's like 20 locations in the Chicago area. Oh, yeah. See, I knew it was a small it's a chain. a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's small considering nationwide, but it's a lot for this for area. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're cute. They look delightful. I think I ate at one downtown without because they had all the like pink napkin. It was cute. Okay, pink polka and dots. here's the thing: you can buy a box of coffee or hot chocolate along with a mini donut tray. You know, mm-hmm. for your office, right? Mm-hmm. So if there's some big CEO listening to our the Life Happens Life Anyway podcast, you yeah. get yourself over there to Stan's Donuts. Yeah, and you get a mini donut tray and a box of coffee. And you're going to get more productivity out of your people. That's, well, until they come down <laughs> from it. <laughs> and I am really feeling it. But Me I'm too. also, but darn you for putting this basket of donuts in front of us. Well, we're going to talk about them know, in a minute. But they're just well, hurry up and get done with your part God. so I can get to mine. <laughs> Before we're both napping on our podcast. <laughs> Oh, Catherine is snorting now. That was her. Okay, I'm just going to tell you how many donuts it would take to reach the top of the Statue of Liberty if you were to stack them. Let me guess. Oh, yes. Go ahead. From the ground to the top of the Statue of Liberty, Mm -hmm. how many donuts if they're stacked? Yes. Donuts. I'm going to say four million. No, Tracy. (laughs) You're like Kenny. You overdo it. (laughs) What? No, what? it's what is it? It's three thousand. Oh, right, six hundred and sixty. Why? Why? Now, how many did you say initially? Four Some million. Four million. Okay, because if you, it's fifty-five million to the moon. No. <laughs> No, but if you were to take the donuts and string them along from Long Beach, California to Long Island, New York, oh. it would be fifty-five million. Who? No, who does this math? Who are these they, math wizards? These math people can do anything. Gosh, that's you funny. know that. I always knew math was useless information. Yes, <laughs> I thought these. So there are some National Donut Day facts. I thought they were funny questions. One is, can donuts be healthy? Hmm. Uh, What's the answer to that? Well, just for kicks and giggles, I clicked on it. And? It says, uh, nowadays, many donut recipes are created with an awareness of the, their nutritional content. Kind of like smoking cigarettes, right? Do they have that warning on there. Like, this is not good for you. Check with your favorite shop if they offer any of these varieties. So they basically don't know. What do you mean? What varieties? I bet you Shark Tank has some. Like or a carrot donut? donut? Well, it's possible. And okay. they, pro- you know, you could bake donuts. You don't have to fry them. True. We could. So you, you know what we should try is mm. that same recipe that I'm going to share in a little bit. 
We should try that in the air fryer. Yes. See, see how that goes. Oh, let's do that. I love <laughs> these experiments. So fun. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's so fun okay all right well we know that the dutch settlers that they most people credit them for bringing the donuts over and but they used to call them and i probably am not pronouncing it right but oily cokes which translates to oily cakes right because yeah. they're cooked in oil and they're cake like yeah and they are kind of bad for you mm-hmm. in the first versions they um they did not have that hole in the middle That's why I'm looking forward to having a business and calling it Holy Donuts. Like holy as in H-O-L-Y. Okay, Catherine Catherine and I, if you're just now (laughs) tuning into this goofy podcast, we are best friends. We've been best friends for a couple decades now. (coughs) Excuse me, I was laughing so hard I had to cough. Anyway, and we've had 40 some jobs between the two of us over our lifetime yeah which is a lot of yes. trying that we're, yeah we've like, tried a lot right. of different things mm-hmm. and so when now we're gonna try this when uh when we made up these homemade donuts Catherine definitely said we are gonna sell these oh we're gonna have a business absolutely we could let's do it you're really good at sales true that so i could sell one you. of these donuts to an anorexic person get over here you yes you could all right move on okay now um there's just a couple more in geometry the shape of a donut is known as a torus not torus like the like the horoscope like the bull yeah not that but t-o-r-u-s there's such a name for that okay it's estimated that 10 billion donuts are sold in the united states although that doesn't add up but see what what we say about the math yeah it's so funny to me. Well, actually, it does because if ten billion are sold just in the U.S. and then <laughs> she's doing the cross-eyed face. Okay, who cares? Anyway, here's the last one I'm going to give. Mm-hmm. Did you know a donut filled with champagne and topped with twenty fair twenty four karat gold can be purchased for a very hefty fee? How you much is it? It doesn't say. Huh? But it can be a luxurious donut, and you can get it. So that's it for these fun facts. Um, I think that's it. Yes, that's it. How fun, that fun is that? Very yeah. fun. Uh, Thank you. And we were worried there wasn't going to be anything to say about donuts. No kidding. For National Donut Day. But that really truly was a blast. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's, do that. let's talk about the recipe. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, no, we have to talk about where they can get these for free. Oh, right, right, right. Forgot about that. Oh, these pop-ups. So I clicked on my other file that's open, and these ads popping up everywhere, especially, okay, so I've been looking for a um, a gas propane-powered pi- fire pit for outside, mm-hmm. you know, the kind with the glass in mm-hmm. it. And so now I'm trying to do my work here, and all these ads are popping up on these fire pits. Mm. Ugh. Okay. So although it's not been confirmed completely by the by these donut outlets, mm-hmm. the freebies that you can pick up on the on June second for the the um, National Donut Day, um, they expect most donut shops like Dunkin' and Krispy Kreme they're going to offer promotions. They're going to. Um, you know, give out certain a variety of, of donuts. I think, I think I read somewhere that it was most likely going to be the glazed one. Mm-hmm. You should be able to get free cinnamon sugar donuts at Duck Donuts, and I did. I did the Chicagoland area. Some place like Seven Eleven, they expect them to do buy one get one. You should be able to get a free glazed donut at Lamar's on National Donut Day. Oh, some places are going to give you. A coffee. You should be able to go to these major outlets and they're going to have something. But as far as stands, the one that we mentioned, Mm -hmm. that one, um, like I said, I couldn't find it on their website. But if you keep checking, they'll probably announce it closer to the date. I mean, we're pretty close now. Um, Most of these places, they figure, are going to do something. Shipley Donuts, and it's spelled Shipley with L-E-Y. And it looks like it says do nuts. Mm -hmm. That's how they spell it. Oh, Stan's Donuts. It is on here. What does it say? It says, if you live in the Chicago area, you could have gotten a free glazed donut. They're talking about last year. Mm -hmm. Regularly priced at $2.25. 
when you visited Stan Donuts in person and no purchase was necessary. So I guess they do give them out. Well, there you go. Yeah, because they're basing it on what they've done in the past. I would say this. If you are at a donut shop or a place that sells donuts on National Donut Day, the first Friday in June, I would say, hey, what you doing for National Donut Day? That's right. And then maybe they'll, lucky day. maybe they'll make an exception if they hadn't thought of it ahead of time, which if that's your business, you should make it your business too, yes. to think of it. Do you know what I just read? Something just flashed across my screen. Mm. Tina Turner passed away. <gasps> oh, yeah. I didn't know if she was sick. Uh, yeah. It says she died oh, in gosh. Switzerland. Oh, I mean, really? I'm assuming that this is true. It's Sky News and a bunch of others. Uh, it probably is. 83 years old. Tina Turner. 83. Well, that's not that old. Well, it's p- way past the average lifespan. Is it anymore? Yeah. I don't know. It's in the 70s, I think. Well, anyway. Now, oh. now we're turning the podcast <laughs> into something else. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, I don't know why we act so shocked when people, uh, famous people die, like as if they're not, they don't have a mortality. The life expectancy date. for females in the U.S. is 80.2. So she did live a nice long life. Mm-hmm. I don't know how ill she was or anything like that, but well, sad news. Yeah. Sad news. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, let's go on with donuts. Well, I bet she didn't have that many. Probably didn't not. Like it. She worked them off. That's for sure. She was a hard worker. No worked kidding. Worked her way up from that that crazy guy she was yeah, with. for sure. Okay. That's it. All right. Well, we're going to talk about this recipe now. Yes. And I will um, link it in the show notes Mm because you can find it if you just put in, it's called 15 minute homemade donuts. Mm -hmm. So in case you're uh, not able to get to the show notes for whatever reason, and you're just thinking, well, how am I going to find this recipe? You could just Google it. Yeah. 15 minute homemade donuts. I looked at a bunch of different recipes. Some of them required certain equipment that I didn't have. Like one of them said, you have to have a food processor to mix your dough. I'm like, oh, no, no, we're not going to do that. These donuts were the bomb and we didn't have no mixer. No. And then another recipe, you had to use yeast. I'm like, uh-uh. I, really? I don't have time for yeast. No. <laughs> Who does? Yeast scares me. I think the kind of people that are eating donuts, they want something. <laughs> they want something fast and really good. Like, right. Yeah. So that's why the 15 minute thing stood out to me. I'm like, click, <laughs> click. <laughs> What's that one about? <laughs> oh, All right. Uh, and we decided, of course, this was our job. This is our job mm. to what, um, what's our job? To make these oh. and eat them <laughs> and try them and talk about them Yeah, for you all listening, for our faithful consumers and contributors. Yeah. All right. So this, uh, this blog, it came from Cooking Classy. So you'll see the, the link and just... You know, scroll down. You got to scroll, scroll, scroll until you get to the actual recipe. Yeah. But it's so simple. It's basically flour, baking powder, salt, buttermilk, which you cannot substitute. Right. You have to know that. And we used low fat. Not on purpose, though. No, not on purpose. Was it low fat or just reduced fat? Reduced fat. fat. Reduced fat. Buttermilk. I don't know if you've tried to buy buttermilk during the pandemic, but it was a problem to try to find it. Was it? Well, you know how all the supply chain, this and that, and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Well, I went to two stores here in Piatone where we live, and I couldn't find any buttermilk at all at one store. And then at the other store, I found only reduced fat. Mm. So I decided to give it a shot. Well, it was totally fine. Yeah. Just saying. The other things that are in there are um, butter and sugar. That's about it. That's it for the batter. Okay. And what you do is you take three to four cups of vegetable oil and you put it in a pan and you crank it up to 350. I used an electric skillet that has the 350 number right on it. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, just put it in a pan. Yeah. And put it on medium. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a little thermometer thingy, put it on there to get it to 350. I kind of think that's important because if it's too cool, it's not going to be right. Yeah. And if it's too hot, you're going to burn it. So I think it's kind of important. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Then, uh, so so this is what you do. You start out with the oil and you get it going. Mm -hmm. And while that's heating up, you're making the batter. So you mix together whatever, whatever, and you get the batter all together, and then you have to roll it into balls. I didn't, I didn't read that through until we were making it. <laughs> I was like, oh, dang. You'll see it. that in the video. Yeah, we're sending this video out to our patrons, so 
um, if you're a patron, you're going to get the video of us making it. And I look horrible, so sorry about that. No, but don't. it's coming out anyway. Uh, okay. <clears throat> and if you are thinking, dang, I want to see, then become then a patron. Become, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So once you make the batter and then you ball it up into the balls and now you're ready to put it in the, the hot oil, you can only do half at a time, which this made for us. I don't know how many it's supposed to make, but it made for us a uh, 13. 13. Yeah. What? 13. 13. <laughs> 13. <laughs> she got tongue tied there for a minute. So it's a perfect baker's dozen, 13 donuts. And there we I might have made the balls a little bit too big, but I love that size that they are right yeah. there. They're about Why do you say they're too big. Well, because it might have made more oh. if I had made them smaller, but I think this is a nice size. I mean, if you were to flatten that into a like a Dunkin' Donut size donut, It'd be smaller than that. Yeah. What size would you say this is? It's like smaller. I'd say it's than like two inch in diameter. Yeah. Two, well, maybe three. Whatever. It's small ish, but big ish in, in some ways. <laughs> <laughs> it just depends on how you look at it. Anyway, you make make up the balls all ahead of time and then you fry them a, what, half of the batch mm-hmm. and then you have to golden brown it. It took about three minutes total mm-hmm. for, that the dough was in the grease. Yeah. So it was like about a minute and a half, flip it over, minute and a half, and it puffs up. Presto. Because there is baking powder in there, so it does make it puff up, but there's no yeast because I hate yeast. Anyway, then you just let them cool for a moment, and you put the cinnamon sugar on them, or you could do powdered sugar, or you could probably do whatever you You want. You could probably, yeah, glaze like chocolatey syrup. Yeah, or you could Mm -hmm. make a... A powdered sugar glaze mm-hmm. and then you just enjoy them and Catherine and I took oh. video of each other with our first bite yeah it's so good yeah it was an experience it probably needs a rating I would say mm-hmm. back to the about the size of these mm-hmm. it's only appears big if you try to shove it in your mouth all at once then it's kind of big yeah it's probably a, a good three bites or four bites don't you think not four three yeah okay so it's a three biter Yes. So it's it's not too big. It's not too small. Right. I think these would be great, in my opinion, to serve guests. Like oh, if, yes. Like, let's say you have overnight guests mm-hmm. for some reason. Mm-hmm. It'd the, be a wonderful treat. Yeah, in the morning, and you just have coffee and, yeah. the, and this. Yeah, I'm totally going to do this. Yeah. I think it would be great also for... Um, small groups. Yeah, like if you're going to some kind of a, a group setting where everybody mm-hmm. brings a little something. Birthday a, party. Mm-hmm delightful well that was fun (sighs) who thought that it would be so fun thank you Catherine, for coming up with this one and going down this path and everybody we wish you a happy donut Donut day day. Mm -hmm. go have fun well you've been listening to the life happens wait 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 wait, wait. our scripture oh i forgot i forgot call to action oh my gosh Catherine, i was all ahead of myself Mm. okay scripture we have john 6 verse 35 and, and Catherine came up with a scripture, and, and it says, then, G- I don't know why I prefaced that with. I don't know either. It's almost like I am not to be blamed for not, this scripture. Not my fault. Uh, it says, then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Yeah, because I thought it puts things in the right perspective. It does. This may be doughy. It may be like, you know, fried bread. But Jesus is the real bread. True. And, you know, if Jesus had a little camping stove back in the day, he'd probably be making these. You think so? No, for all the disciples and saying, here we go. Mm. Why wouldn't he? He loves us. This episode oh, has it all. <laughs> we've, had, we've killed a spider. We're yeah, choking. I, by the way, I'm freaked out about that. Okay. Now, call to, call to action. What is it? I forgot. Did we talk we about it? We didn't actually say. Well, let's but decide. I, I would say just go find yourself a free donut on National Donut Day, which or is make Friday them. 2nd. Or make them. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Okay. <laughs> All right. You've been listening to the Life Happens Laugh Anyway podcast. I'm still comedian Tracy DeGraff. I'm still Catherine. See you next time. Bye-bye.